this is a surprise. You haven't waited up for me like this since forever. <laughs> it's good to see you too. Do you ever think it's good to see me? Do I'm too tired to do this with you right now. I'm going to bed. What? What? Just let me go to sleep. What? What is it? What do you mean what I was out doing tonight? My job. You know what my job is. Can we not do this song and dance again? I got better shit to do in the morning, so how about you get to your point? What's this for? Didn't know we read the papers now. Figured you'd at least be getting your news from a phone like most people do nowadays. What shit do you want me to cut? Stop running around and tell me your point. What do you want from me? Of course I fucking did it. You think any of these other punk bitches have the balls to pull something like that I off? I feel you suppressing your thoughts. Stop that and let me in so I know what's going on. I was tying up loose ends. I shot up that apartment as a part of a job. It's none of your business what happened or why it went down the way it did. No, I don't feel bad. It was a job, just like any other. I do shit like this all the time. What is all this for? Why is it that you suddenly have the balls to start picking fights with me now? Don't give me that crap. You don't fucking know anyone involved in what happened. And what about Diana's nephew? You think I give a fuck about him? Boho. So we missed an interview because I used him to help suppress Khalid's magic. And what? Now his poor grandmother has to go hungry another night? Well, people like this exist everywhere. You think I got time to think about every sob story that happens upon my ear? Stop resisting and let me in. This makes no sense. <sighs> if he wants a job, then you can come to me and I'll sort him out. Happy. Make up your fucking mind. What are you asking me to do? You want him to have a job or do you not? First you complain that he's poor and needs work. Then I offer you my services and it's suddenly not good enough. Fucking Christ. Oh, do I look like I care about anyone being mixed up in my shit? It's like I said, this is a job. Jobs come with risks and everyone I employ, everyone who lives under a roof because of me, knows the risks of that job. Everyone but you. Someone who I thought was in this for the long run. Forget your vows, did we? Fine, you little bitch. You wanna play the silent game? I know how this goes. Wow. So because you painted this fantasy of what it was like to be married to a mafioso, you're mad at me for having to be the guy that wakes you up from the dream you made? Stupid little shit. So is that it? What did you think we were doing here when I started this doll? Idiot. You think we were gonna be married to some white knight who had a problem with the law? Now you piece of shit. Protects the poor citizens of this town while being dark and mysterious? Is that by your little fantasy? Wow, you are a fucking dumbass. We are helping people. 
We are the reason why people have jobs, why people can walk safely through our turf without having to get jumped. Grateful. My work requires payment to doll. It's why you can afford to live like this. It's not my fault some folks can't pay that price. Oh, is that what you're thinking? You forget I can hear your thoughts, your worthless shit. <laughs> you calling me a crook is rich. That's a lot coming from the ex-cop. No, no, no. You wanted to play dirty? Let's play dirty. Because you were up to some real shit before we met. I wouldn't have to do this if you just let me in. I think I'm bad, but I remember the person who went along with all their crooked colleagues. I remember the person who had no spine to speak of. I remember how easily it was for them to bend over for their station captain when he asked. You fucking whore. I had to put you in your fucking place. Is that what you wanted? Did you want an excuse to let your anger out? I'm the asshole you married. Seems like you should be inspecting your taste in men. Bitch. Cry me a river. Seems like it's the only thing you're good at nowadays. Look at you. Is that what you want? What? what? Boy. What I built, you mean? You think you're a big shot now, huh? How did you help? So, I, and what about that? You gave his community support a big whoop. I financed everything. You would be nothing without me. I did this. Those deals were made by me. Oh, so you playing diplomat suddenly makes you a key player in my operation. You may have helped build it, doll, but I'm the one who's getting his hands dirty, not you. I'm the only one who goes out there and does the actual work. I make the decisions and I do the shit that makes you squeam. You want to talk about who has the rights to this allegorical pie of yours? It's me. It always has been, because you were too scared to ever do anything about it. What? Lost your bite? Gotcha. You were so up in arms a second ago. What changed? You realized your place here? What? Good. Now pipe down and let me go to bed. What are you bringing this up for? What? I hear the question. I know you're asking me if I love you. But what the fuck does that have to do with all of this? You trying to worm your way out of it? Where are you going? So what? You start some shit and you don't even finish it? You really think you're even good enough to be a part of all this if this is what you're doing? You forget who brought you here? Who makes sure that you get to live all comfy every day here? Who is it? Answer me!